make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Good morning to our family and friends watching us in person on Facebook Live and on our official YouTube channel. We bring you greetings from the Bethel Community Church right here in the beautiful city of Fairfield, California. Our pastor is Anthony Gilmore. For those of you who would like to send cards, prayer requests, or words of encouragement, our mailing address is 600 East Tabor Avenue, Fairfield, California, 94533. If you would like to send donations, you can use the Givelify app, Venmo, or the Cash app. We want to thank you for watching us each week and supporting this ministry. Although the building is partially open, the church is still yet alive, and we continue to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. BCC is still following the social distancing and mask guidelines while you're worshiping in person. During this time, we must continue to remain vigilant, we must continue to remain prayerful, and we must continue to remain faithful. We are here to bring you hope, peace, and joy. We are glad you are here in the building and at home watching, and we praise God for technology. So sit back or stand up, clap your hands, shout and dance as we praise him for all he's done and worship him for who he is. Come on, help us sing that again. Oh, Pray, Reverend. It's prayer time. It's prayer time, Reverend. It's prayer time. All in all. Oh, Lord. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Kind fathers, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. We honor you. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify you. Yes. We extol you. Yes, Lord. We lift you up. For you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, we Lord. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving. Yes, yes. And into your courts with praise. We magnify your name today. We bless your name. Yes. Send your anointing in this building this morning. In the name of Jesus. Move up and down the aisles today, God, and touch your people. We thank you in advance for what you're about to do. 
We thank you for the Holy Ghost encounter in this place yes, today. Yes. Move, Holy Spirit. Yes. Move, Holy Spirit. Move, Holy Spirit. Have your way in this place. That deliverance will go forth. Healing will go forth. Yes. Salvation will go forth. Satan the Lord rebuke you. Yes. Satan the Lord rebuke yes. you. Satan the Lord rebuke you. Yes. Satan the Lord rebuke you. Yes. The blood of Jesus is against you. Yes. We plead the blood. Yes. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. Yes. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. Yes. We plead the blood. We plead the yes. blood. The blood. The blood. Yes. The blood. Yes, the blood of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. On behalf of our pastor, the Reverend A.L. Gilmore and First Lady Gilmore, and the entire BCC family. We so glad that you stopped by here on your way to heaven where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. So in the name of our Father, in the name of his Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless each and every one of you.
Reverend. Where the tenors at? Where 
Wait a minute.
praising you, you ought to let it out. Oh, uh, you can do better than that. If he's been good to you, you ought to be able to show some sign. If he'll supply all of your needs, if he woke you up this morning, if he started you on your way, somebody ought to shout hallelujah since I laid my burdens. I don't know about you, but I came to lift up the name of Jesus, for all that he has done for me, for all that he is doing for me, and all that he will do for us. Most honorable preacher, laborer, and master pastor, Pastor Gilmore, we thank you for this opportunity. We bless you to all of you that are here this morning with us. We bless you in the name of a risen Savior who hung, bled, and died. I heard somebody say, but early one Sunday morning, that's it, that's he it. got up with all power in his hand. Yeah, we yeah. thank you for this opportunity. We are so glad to be with you here this morning. I just want to say to Pastor Gilmore publicly, I thank you for just being who you are bless and being you. a blessing and a big bless brother to me in my life. I even got my son here with me today. Amen. Yeah. Hanging out with me. Stand up, son. Let everybody see you. My son, Lindell. Amen. 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 We don't want to belabor you, hold you long. We bless each and every one of you. We hope that everything is going on in your life. Before we get started here today, I just want to say one thing. Let's love one another. Help us, Reverend. Times Help are us. crazy. Times are going wrong say in the it world. Again. Say it again. Let's just love one another. Right. I know you're right. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. I won't hold you long. 
I'll just do my little Easter speech and get out your way, if that's all right. There is a word from the Lord. If you would turn with me, stand for the reading of God's word. There is a word from the Lord over in the book of Luke. Luke, the fifth chapter. We'll start reading at the third verse. For more comprehensive reading, you may want to read the whole chapter. But Luke, the fifth verse, fifth chapter, the third verse. We'll read down to about the ninth verse. And it reads as follows, And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answered and said, Unto him, pay close attention to this. Master, we have toiled all the night, and we have taken nothing. Nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and they set their net, and it broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ships, and they should come and helped them, and they came and filled both of the ships, and they began to sink. Yeah. Verse 8 says, And when Simon Peter saw as he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, right. Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, right. O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, and the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And verse 10, it says, And so was also James and John, and the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. All right. That's enough. Turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, morning is coming. Morning, morning is coming. All right. Let's morning see. is Let's see. coming. Let's see. You will never witness... What else God can do for you in your life if you are forever quitting? That's right. You will never see other doors open. You will never see other ways made. You will never witness or experience the next healing experience or blessing if you are always driven towards quitting. Oh, y'all got to help me this morning. You, you, you'll never see a new situation or have everlasting growth or have gratitude for God if you are consistently staying in a mode or modality of quitting. In the words of Ted Turner, quitters never win. And a winner never quits. Let me see if I can try it this way. Quitters don't score touchdowns at football games in the NFL. Quitters don't dunk basketballs in the NBA during playoff time. Quitters don't hit home runs in Major League Baseball games. Quitters don't enroll in college and never obtain degrees. You can't receive the blessing and the gift of God and what God will really do for you if you are forever quitting. If you're always crying and complaining, corrupting and reconciling or rescinding your religion and the work for the Lord, you cut off the next blessing that God wants to do for you. For those of you that are here this morning, some of y'all that are here this morning, you might have walked into the church with a heavy heart. You might have had some things going on in your life, but I came to encourage you, don't throw in the towel. Because Jesus said, if you stick with me and don't quit, I'll work it out for you. This was the problem with these disciples who went out to obtain their wage and their resource on the northwestern part of the Sea of Galilee called Lake Genesaret. These men, Pastor Gilmore, who were present as Jesus was preaching, 
these gospel preachers would eventually become apostles, Reverend Evans. They would end up as healers. They would end up as teachers. They would end up as people following them. But I got some news for you. That was not the way they started out. They started out after a night of fishing and failure. Yeah. Let me help you this morning. They, the text says they fished all night, all night. and they caught no fish. Right, right. They borrowed on fishing. They traded with fishing. But on this time, they went out and they caught no fish. Yeah. Luke records that after a whole night yeah. of fishing, they docked a boat, they gave in, they gave up on fishing, they set out and they abandoned on their task, and they had no fight and no resolve to keep going forward. Ahead, Let me help you this morning. They fished all night. Are y'all in here with me? But nighttime is not only the absence of light, but nighttime is something that we're going through right now. Y'all right remember Genesis 1 and 3, God said, let there be light. And then there was light. And then that we see in the scientific realm, we follow a fixed point on the earth as it goes through a full rotation, yeah, yeah. which can reproduce an experience of a person living on one point and a full 24-hour period, including day now turning into night. Don't worry, I'm going to get to it in a minute. If we begin at this moment in the rotation, Dr. Gilmore, which our observer is just entering into the illumination half of the earth. Yeah. But I stopped by to tell you this morning that nighttime has become a part of the believer's all life. Right, right. It is the night. Right. When you take the medicine and it can't adjust Dead the malady. Heaven. It is the night. Dead when you got more month than you got money. It is the nighttime. Yeah. When you yeah. take five steps forward but you step go back six. It is the night. Yeah. When you're married, but you stay in separate rooms, you said for better or for worse and found out better was separated from the one you're married to. It is the night. Are y'all going to help me preach in here? When you got people who getting their neck stumped down, you got politicians who are letting black people get killed all over the nation, but then call it injustice. It's nighttime. nighttime. It is the night. When you got more baby mamas and baby daddies and you got husbands and wife, I know y'all don't like this type of preaching, but it is the night. Yeah. And some of y'all came in here today. It's 1134.19. You came to 600 East Tabor. The sun is shining, but it's the nighttime in your life. Yeah. Yeah. It is the night. It's nighttime. Are y'all in here with me? Yeah. Yeah. It's nighttime when you got green trees disturbing the minds of people thinking that they need this for anxiety. You don't need no anxiety. We, you need Master Jesus. Yeah, I know you're right. But I'm hopeful, Reverend, Reverend Gilmore. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because my Bible teaches me that morning is coming. That, that morning is coming. I need some help in here from y'all this morning. Some of y'all that want to sit on the bright side of things and you need to be looking. All you need to be looking for is morning time. Yeah. Some of y'all in here can say and testify this morning that I was down, but he took away the darkness in my life. Yeah. Are y'all sitting up in here too Trump-like? You know that you had some darkness in your life. Yeah, but all you know is that Master Jesus came into your life one time and started the morning time. Yeah, yeah. And that would be the experience if this would be our experience, if this would be our realization, yes, if this would be some situations that we go from, there are some helpful holy hints this morning in the text right. that will show us that morning time is coming. Dead, are y'all looking for morning? I, I can't hear too good. I'm turning 49 next week. Are y'all looking for morning? Let me try on my right side over here. Are y'all looking for morning? Dead, First of all, if we want to have a good morning, Calvin, first of all, the first thing we got to do is we got to make room for a righteous Savior. All right. One of the biggest problems, one of the biggest sufferings, one of the biggest situations and sinful acts that is happening in the world today and even in the church, that there nobody is making no room for the Lord. All right. I heard a preacher say the other day that there's no room for the Lord. And, all right. This scene would have seen that Jesus utilizing the area 
to establish the kingdom and teaching others how to build the kingdom through the marvelous ministry of Master Jesus. Yes, Bible readers, y'all know this. Matthew calls him the king of kings. Right, right. Mark called him the servant. And John referred to him as the word yeah, made yeah. flesh. But here we find Pastor Gilmore that Luke paints the scene of him giving the word to those who would go out and become followers yes, of the good news of the gospel. Yeah, yeah. But here we find Jesus at late Genesareth got in one of the boats and one of the boats entered he entered into would be the boat of Simon Peter. Right. Peter's boat where they had now turned in the towel. Yeah. Don't miss this, y'all. Don't miss this. I said it earlier. They fished all night, but they caught no fish. Right. They fished all night, and they ended up with nothing. Now, that's kind of bad. It was night and nothing. Yeah, Some right. of us can even recognize this this morning that we've been trying to do everything in our life on our own. And still ended up with nothing. Some of us yeah, still go through yeah. situations right now in our life and still end up with nothing. nothing. I mean, yeah. but can I give you some advice? You can't have no peace without the peacemaker. Right, right. Don't matter how many things you try out on your own, you can't save. You got to save space for the Savior. Yeah, Here it is. Yeah. Here it is. Let me help you this morning. Here it is. There, here it is. Nothing happened in Peter's boat until he got the right person in the boat. Are y'all going to help me this morning? Ain't nothing going to happen into your house until you get the right person in your house. Yeah. Let me slow down here. Ain't nothing going to work in your marriage until you get Jesus in the marriage. Say it, Reverend. Say it. That may be the reason why so many churches are cold. I know you're right. No fire. I know you're no right. growth. Yeah. No smiles right, right. because they ain't got no room for the Savior. No room. Can I help y'all this morning? In times like these, we need a Savior. Need a savior. In times like these, you need a healer. Yeah. In times like these, you need a way maker. You need a door opener. You need a friend. You need somebody to walk with you and talk with you. Yeah. Be very sure, Be sure that your anchor holds. Yes, sir. And grips that's the it, solid rock. But we find this, Dr. Gilmore, number two, that there was a reluctance of obedience. Right. Let me help you this morning, beloved. One of the ways that you're going to make it into a good morning and make it into a good new life is that you got to understand how to be obedient to the call of Jesus. Right. I know you're right. If you can't be obedient to the call of God's word and move to the speed of instruction, right. it becomes evident that you have some purposeful disobedience. Right. Oh, let me help you this morning. If you keep doing the same thing you've been doing, you're going to get the yeah, same yeah. thing yeah, that you always got. Yeah. If you keep going to the same places, hanging with the same, you know, I got some news for you. Somebody told me the other day, they said, Reverend Reuben, what should I do different? I said, you are the sum of the five people you hang with. If you hang with broke down people, if you hang with messed up people, if you hang with drunk people, if you hang with drugged up people, that's why your life can't change. Say it, Reverend. I know you're right. In order to get what you want, you got to go further than the familiar. Yeah. You got to do something that you've never done before yeah, in yeah, Christ. Yeah. In order to reach what you never reach, you got to reach further than you ever reached. Uh, right. In other words, if you want to see things that you've never seen before, you got to press. Everybody say press. Press. Yeah. You got to press to go to new heights. Hey, Jesus said to Peter, let's go out let's into go the out. deep. Yeah. You're in shallow water. Yeah. We need to go out in to the deep yeah. and let down your nets. That's it, but you got to go out into the deep. Before you get into the deep, you got to leave some people on the shore. Yes, I know you're right. Let me bless you this morning. Let me bless you this morning. Because you're still hanging in shallow water, yeah. you might be a little confused this morning. Yeah. It's because you're hanging with people who still got shallow praise, yes, sir. shallow worship, yeah, shallow prayer life, yes, shallow situation, yeah. shallow sanctification, yeah. shallow tithers, shallow, shallow churchgoers. Shallow. You're in shallow water 
You can't get deep results when you're still in shallow water. Shallow. He said, let's go out into the deep. Yeah. You can't hang with people who can't get over adversity. Let me help you this morning. Hey, you got to stop being a wimpy Christian. Know you, right? Get out into the deep. Yeah. Go out. Leave some people on the shore. Yes, Jesus said, in order to get what you want, you got to do something different. Yeah, yeah. He love you. He might say he love you, but he ain't put a ring on it. You need to leave him on the shore. Watch it, Reverend. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> he got an escalade, but he's still living with his grandmama. You need to leave him on the shore. Watch out, Reverend. Watch out. Are y'all going to help me this morning? When you decide that you're going all the way with Jesus, yes, when you got to leave some people, some places, and some things yeah. behind, yes, Jesus sir. said, I got some things out in the deep yeah. that I got to teach you how to handle. I hear you, right Dr. Gilmore, in my spiritual mind, when I was reading this text, I took a look at it, and I, and I think that Jesus also told Peter that we got to go out into the deep yeah. because the fish weren't looking for you. Yeah. The fish were looking for me. Yes, sir. See, because if the fish couldn't find Jesus, they couldn't be in the story. Right, hold on, right. hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch this. Some of y'all don't understand. You didn't even have no story until Jesus say it, showed say up it. in your life. Say it, say it. That's why you need to get out of shallow water. Yes, sir. You didn't have no situation coming until the king of kings showed up at your address. Yeah, yeah. Yes, help me this morning, Jesus. Help me. Hold the songwriter says, This is my story. Yeah. This is my song. Yeah, yeah. Praising my Savior. Are y'all in here today? Yeah, come hell or high water. Come tears of fighting. Come to any situation I go through. I'm going to keep praising my Savior yeah. all the day long. Yeah. Some of us can remember that our praise wasn't for real until we went all in with Jesus. Right, right. Stop hanging with people who got Sunday praise. Yes, you ought to have a praise everywhere you go. Yeah. I didn't learn in my few years. I can't take another step without him, Dr. Gilmore. Yes, tried everything that I could try. Went every place that I can go yeah. and still ended back up at the house of prayer. Oh, I know I'm in here by myself. Yeah, really. Some of y'all in here too cute this morning. Like you ain't never been through no yeah. situation. I got news for you. I was a king sinner until he came into my life. Yeah. Are y'all in here with me this morning? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to testify, but I know that you can't get nowhere until you got him in the correct place. Yeah. Since he came into my life, yeah. everything has changed. That's it. That's Are y'all coming with me? Come here. And he promised he never leave us nor forsake yeah. us. But finally... Before we get out of here this morning, how many of y'all want to have a good morning? Yes, sir. If you really want to have a good morning, you got to learn how to follow divine That's directions. Right. You must follow the words of a master Jesus to get your heavenly reward. Yeah. We must quit, never quit on the calling of God because we don't have instant success. Right. Oh, let, me, let me help you here this morning. Microwave Christians fizzle out yeah. at the first sign of trouble and disappointment. Yes, Be careful of having a microwave relationship with yeah. an everlasting Savior. Are y'all in here with me? The old folks used to say, you got to tan a test and judgment. Yes, sir. And you got to stand it for yourself. Yes, sir. You cannot quit at the first sight of failure yeah. when running on this journey for Jesus. But did I said it earlier, God is not looking for wimpy Christians, right, right. but he's looking for some soldiers that are going to stand firm in his army. Yes, sir. He's looking for those who can stand on the promises of God. Yes, sir. But let me help you this morning. You cannot experience the promises of God if you don't stand on the principles of of God. I know you're right. Oh, y'all gonna catch that in a minute. You can't get the promises of God unless you can actually act out what he's asking you to do. Yeah. But we see in this text this morning that he says that you can follow my divine directions when you go out into the deep. Yes, sir. We understand that this would infer 
that he was talking to Peter to make him understand a certain situation this morning. Watch this, Pastor Gilmore. The text says that he told him to go out again. Yes, sir. That infers that he wanted to take him after yeah, failure. Yeah. Oh, y'all going to catch it in a minute. You came to church this morning because the Lord took you after failure. Yeah. You might have been the biggest dope smoker, the biggest cocaine yeah. addict, the biggest drinker, but the Lord took you after failure. Yeah. Don't sit up in here this morning and act like you ain't never been on the other side. Yeah. You might have been the biggest situation that has ever gone into your life, but now you got your divine orders. Yeah. Uh, let me get out of here this morning. I understand that there's some things in life that are very tough. Yeah. And there's some things in life that sometimes you have to cry. Yeah. But I came to give you good news this morning that he took you after failure. After failure. That means that he looked beyond. Yes, oh, sir. Y'all going to help me catch it in a minute. He looked yeah. beyond all of my. Are y'all going to help me close yeah. here? He looked yeah. beyond all of my faults. And he saw all of my needs. God bless you today, but I'm glad this morning that the Lord gave Peter yeah. another chance. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Jesus was teaching Peter that if you don't give up on the fish, yeah. then you can come back and learn how not to give up on me. Yeah. Let me close right here when I say there's some people who want to get well, yeah. but they'll never get well until they find me. Yeah. There's some people who want to kick the drug habit, Dead but they'll never kick the drug habit until they find Jesus. Yeah. Jesus said there's some people that are out here that were on the shore, yes, sir. but let's go out into the deep. Uh -huh. Beloved, don't stand too far off from the fish uh -huh. because you live in a world of sin. Yeah. He said, let's go out into the deep. Yeah. And all you got to do is let down your net. Uh -huh. In other words, let down your problems. Yeah. In other words, let down your doubts. Yeah. In other words, let down your fears. In other words, let down your situations yeah. that hold you back. Yeah. In other words, I'll be here with you always. Yeah. You can cast your cares on me because yeah. I really care. Yeah. But I like this text because he says, if you operate in my word. Yeah. Jesus said, you've been suffering all night. Yeah. You've been sad in the world. You've been tossing and turning. You've been in trials and tribulations. But now you can cast your cares on me. When the Lord takes you out of darkness, yeah. demons begin to tremble. Yeah. When the Lord takes you out of darkness, oh, yeah. people get fed with five loaves yeah. and five fishes. When the Lord takes you out of darkness, people turn a jailhouse situation into a praise party. Yeah. When the Lord takes you out of darkness, you have people that are fireproof in a fiery furnace. When the Lord takes you out of darkness, you understand that he'll be there with you always. The Lord says, I'll bless you anyway. Let me close right here. When Peter said, let me get down on my knees. He said, I am a bad man. Some of y'all in here need to turn to your neighbor and say, I am a bad man. I am a bad woman. I've done some bad things, but the Lord bless me anyway. I have done some things I shouldn't have done, but the Lord bless me anyway. I've gone some places where I shouldn't have gone, but the Lord bless me anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long I've tried to go from a world of sin. The Lord bless me anyway. Yeah. I heard someone say, weeping may endure for a night, yeah. but joy comes in the morning time. Oh, yeah. God bless your heart today. I'm looking for morning. No matter what I go through yeah. in this life, yeah. turn to your neighbor and say, I'm looking for morning. No matter how dark it gets in this world, I'm looking for morning. No matter how tough 
It gets on me. I'm looking for morning. God bless you today. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Is there anybody here looking for morning? Looking for morning. Weeping may endure for the night, but I'm glad joy, <laughs> joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Launch out into the deep. What a word today. How many want to launch out? Are you tired of hanging around the shores? It's time to launch out into deep waters as we stand all over the building. How good the Lord really is. What a word today. Powerful word. Encouraging word. Challenging. We are for Christ to you, my brother, my sister. He will give you brand new life and that more abundantly. If you're here today, after hearing that word, I wouldn't go home the same way I came. It's time for you to launch out. We are for Christ, my brother, my sister. We are for Christ to you, oh, my brother. We are for Christ. Oh, my sister. If you're here today and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, my hand represents his hand. Give me your hand, but give God your heart. Is there one today? Maybe you're out of the ark of safety. Maybe you are saved, you love the Lord, but you drifted away from your church. This is an opportunity for you. We offer Christ to you. We offer Christ. You that are watching today, if you're watching and you don't have a church home, maybe you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, we offer Christ to you. <clears throat> Brand new life, and that more abundantly. Is there one today? <clears throat> How good the Lord really is. <clears throat> one more time, we offer Christ, my brother, my sister. We offer Christ to you. Is there one today? I'm not here to put you on the spot. I'm here to take you off the spot. I wouldn't embarrass you. I'm not here to do that. Just to let you know that you can have life and life more abundantly. How good the Lord really is. <clears throat> Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. What a word today. Come on, give the Lord a hand for the word today. Give the preacher a hand. Amen. How good the Lord really is. God bless Reverend Reuben today, encouraging us and challenging us to launch out into the deep. Amen. Praise God today for his Holy Spirit. It's only 1156. Not bad. My kind of church. Amen. Amen. Sister Irvin, we're going to see if we can do this next week. <laughs> God bless you as we prepare our hearts to go. Let me say to all of our visitors, we are happy that you are with us on today. Don't make this the last time. Come back and share with us again. I feel that I voice the sentiment of our church family at large. 
when I say to you, you're welcome at Bethel. Amen. Let me encourage you to continue praying one for the other. We praise God that Brother Blakey had a successful surgery and he's on the mend. Amen. Praise God that Brother Fred Ford had a successful surgery and he is on the mend. God is a healer. Amen. Sister Janetta Robinson had a successful surgery and she is doing well as well and we're going to just keep praying. Amen. I believe that prayer changes people, prayer changes situations, amen? God is a healer, amen? Continue praying one for the other, amen? God has spoken. Let the church say amen as we prepare our hearts to go. This is the Memorial Day holidays. The holiday is tomorrow. Drive safe. Don't drive and drink. Don't drink and drive. Let me just stop at don't drink. <laughs> drive defensively, drive for the other person. A lot of crazy people on the road. Be cautious during this season. Church family, don't forget to make your donations using the Givelify or the Cash App or the Venmo or the PayPal. The officers are at the door on your way out. If you would like to make your donation as we depart, you may do that as well. Good to see Brother Brandon Cole here today, a fine young man. Amen. God bless you, Brandon. Good to see you. God bless you, Reverend Lambert, Sister Lambert. We're praying for you all. Continue looking up. I believe God is a healer. Amen. We are ready to go as Sister Kelly will come at this time and we will be ready for the benediction. Don't forget our food giveaway program is every first and third Wednesday beginning at 930 on the first and third Wednesday. So I believe it's this Wednesday. Make sure you pass the word. Tell somebody that is less fortunate that we give away free food here every first and third Wednesday beginning at nine o'clock on that Wednesday morning. Also, don't forget June 5th. Everybody say June 5th. Say June 5th. June 5th, this coming Saturday, if the Lord say the same, we will have our grand opening ribbon cutting for the chandelier room. Amen. We're looking for all of our church family to be here. Our guests who are watching today, you're more than welcome to come. There will be food etc. But be here, be here. Three o'clock on June 5th. Sister Kelly is going to come with our final announcement and then we'll be ready for the benediction. To all of our online viewers, we want to thank you for being with us virtually and in person today. Today, Reverend Reuben spoke from Luke, the fifth chapter, thir third through the tenth verse. Morning is coming. Our prayer is that you've been blessed by our service today. Stay close to us as we stay close to you. Please visit our Facebook page for further worship opportunities. And please join us for our conference call chat with Pastor G on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Also, on the first and third Wednesdays of the month from 9 to 1030, BCC hosts a food giveaway for people in need. Again, next Saturday, at 3 p.m., join us for food and fellowship as we celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting of the chandelier room. If the Lord says the same, next Sunday, the building will continue to be open for the first 100 people. The doors will open at 10.50 a.m. For your friends and family who do not have Facebook, please tell them the service will be posted to our YouTube official channel. Simply search for Bethel Community Church of Fairfield and subscribe to our channel. Blessings from the church house to your house. On behalf of our entire church, we welcome you to always worship at the Five Star Church of Bethel Community Church of Fairfield. Stay prayerful, stay in the word, and stay safe. God bless you. Shall we stand? God has spoken.
And now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with each of us, henceforth now and forevermore. Church, say amen.